Hello all, welcome to Random Art with Karen. And it's Sunday, my favorite day of the week. So you know I'm in my praise planner. This week is July 1st through the 7th. The stickers I used are from uh, the Happy Planner Faith Warrior Sticker Book. And as always, I get my devotionals from Dr. Charles Stanley. I will link him below. And I will also link uh, Faith Paper Shop if you would like to get this planner. So this week, uh, I did a test drive. I'm starting my new job on Monday. So I decided to um, do a test drive to uh, Signa where I'll be working because it is across town. And it, it, went, it went perfectly. Uh, I, you know, Lord kept me safe. Uh, another thing I'm thankful for is even with this two weeks off, I am able to pay bills. Uh, Jenny, who's been posting on Facebook, she did uh, happen to give us a progress report uh, that she's been up and walking around. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I've been put on a new medication. So um, my hope was that I tolerate new medication because when I went to the pharmacy, they talked about different side effects. So I was like, please let me tolerate this new medication. So Tuesday, another day of feeling good. My prayer list was Jenny, uh, Arnold too. Um, they found some places on his lungs. Um, so I'm praying for him. My little dog, Minnie, is continuing to do well. So I'm thankful for that. On the 4th of July, I'm grateful for freedom. Uh, we had lunch with my brother David uh, the day before on Wednesday. And I was asking him how all of his medical issues were going. And he said his neuropathy had uh, improved quite a bit. And then Jenny posted that she was able to walk 25 feet. On Friday, uh, I'm thankful Arnold's son came here. I think Arnold's son lives in Texas, I think. So I was grateful for that. Oh, by the way, <laughs> we still had people doing fireworks Friday night, which gets my little dog up in a frenzy. And of course, here she has these heart issues, and I'm thinking, this is not good for her heart. So I prayed, please, Lord, no more fireworks. And I need to put a thank you, Lord, because there were no more, fire no more fireworks on uh, Saturday night. All right, so my upcoming week, uh, these are some stickers that I purchased from Joann's. And I've already got my scriptures uh, dated there because, again, I get my devotionals from Dr. Charles Stanley in the mail at least a week ahead of the new month. So that's why I'm able to do that. If you do it by way of uh, email, uh, then you'll just get it daily. Uh, you might be able to hear my husband, Tom, in the kitchen. He's working on, uh, I think he's doing a pork shoulder. I don't know. Whatever it is, it'll be good. It'll be good. So let's see what's going on with my mom and dad as they are in uh, a poor area of uh, Arkansas doing some teaching. Uh, I believe this is where we left off. So now she talks about the summer of 1953. Some friends have generously offered us a two-room furnished apartment in their home in town for the summer. We are looking forward to a new established teaching job, teaching job in a newly Christian school opening in Bentonville, Arkansas in the fall. There's nothing for us to do now that school is out, so Neil decides to look for a summer job in Ozark. <clears throat> we need money. Boy, do we need money. If it weren't for my two older sisters sending me their used maternity dresses, I might not even sure what I would be wearing. There's no work to be found in this small town, so Neil decides we should go to Indiana, where he can work with his father in a power plant and live at home with his parents. I panic completely, I think. I can't leave my obstetrician. He's the only one who can safely deliver this baby. Neil doesn't know what to do with this hysterical female and is bewildered and, un and unsure. It's his first baby, too. Heavenly Father, you have taken care of us so far. Show us what to do. Help us to know your will and to do it. Then she quotes Acts 21.14, the will of the Lord be done. We decide that Neil <clears throat> should go to Indiana to work for the summer, and I shall remain in our rent-free apartment in Ozark. 
We don't like being separated, but it seems I feel the need for my obstetrician more strongly than the need for my husband at this time. I'm not sure Neil understands this. I'm not even sure I understand it myself, but it is so. Oh Lord, why am I so why am I so weak and afraid? I'm not the first woman who ever had a baby, although I feel as if I am. Women have babies every day in huts, under trees, in the fields, and I can't even change doctors and hospitals. I'm so ashamed. Help me, Lord. <clears throat> Be with my husband. I hope we're doing the right thing. It's so hard to know your will. And then she quotes, Be still and know that I am God. All right, good people. You know, I always appreciate when you check in with me. Uh, leave me some kind words. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Become a subscriber if you're not already. Those of you that do subscribe, you know I appreciate you. Let's do the wave. Bye. Look forward to doing some praise planning with you next Sunday.